Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. And uh, today, what we're going to try and do is see if we can't get these worms to migrate out of the worm chow only bin. So, first, we're going to take a look in here where I've been attempting to get them to migrate out and uh, move these guys over to a new bin. And then we're going to do a light migration of whoever is left over here. So let me get my little tub here and just might be easier to flip it over in here and see what we get. So it looks like we've got quite a few takers. That's good. So I'm going to move these guys over to their new bin. I'm glad this is working. Almost got kind of a worm ball, don't we? Nice. Now, I have started this project because uh, I do like to go fishing, and I know there's a lot of us uh, fellow worm farmers that do use our worms for, for fishing and for other purposes, feeding uh, pets and whatnot. And so I've started this bin mostly because, from what I understand, worms do grow fatter if you feed them worm chow. So although my personal purpose of doing worms is to uh, keep stuff out of the landfill, uh, everybody has their own goals, and I, I want to make sure that everybody that watches my channel gets a chance to see what I'm doing with my goals. So here we go. Looks like the migration has been going wonderfully. Now I have a bin off to the side here that has that bedding that I made in a video uh, not too long ago. I can link that if you want to see my worm chow or my uh, worm bedding video. So it looks like these guys have been really happy. Very happy. Look at that. Um, made it nice and wet and gave them their worm chow. And we'll see here in a minute how well that has worked and how many of the worms we're going to have to migrate the hard way. Okay, so I'll kind of look at the border here. Looks like the border's still iffy. So I'll kind of move the border part over and cross my fingers that the worms closer to the other end where there was no added moisture as well as uh, no food, hopefully they got out of here. So let me, I'm going to kind of skim off the top here until I see worms, or don't, and I can just keep going. That would be lovely. But there's always some hard heads in the group. Nice. Oh, right when I say that, look who's here. And all of the castings from over here are going to go into my bin to dry out so that they can be sifted. I did have the lid off of this end, so I was hoping that it would become a little bit inhospitable and uh, make the migration a little bit easier for them. And if the uh, worms, you know, have not perfectly moved out, that's fine. We will get them with the actual light migration, which I'm sort of doing right now, but I think most everything has already left. I did want to get this um, started again because I have updated my worm chow recipe to include, instead of there being three components, now there will be four components. And one of those components is going to be ground uh, bird food. Many people had suggested that I use the ground bird food, and I was always hesitant to to do that because 
one is expensive and I try not to spend money on the worms because most of my goal is to keep things out of the landfill. So we might be getting to the part where we're going to need to actually do our normal migration. So let's just set this up for the light migration. And there will be a bit of time lapse in there where you can see the worms uh, you know, bury themselves, which is the basis of the, the light migration. Basically, we're, we're counting on these worms to not like the super light uh, shelf lights that are overhead here, and they'll dive down, and then I can scoop off the casting. So I'm going to give them a little bit, and you'll be on time lapse. everybody is crawling back down into their new home. I've already put the new worm chow in there to let it get started for them. So um, we'll see. We'll f see how it goes. I put two handfuls in this uh, mortar tray. And if you like this, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you want to see more of this series, I have a playlist that I can link above. If you want to just see what happened last time, I can put that below. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.